What's happening, YouTube? This your boy CJ Gaming 1998. Back at it again with another video. Hey, this is part three. Yes, sir. We're already on part three to the WWE 2K20 My Career series that I am doing. Yes, I am late as hell. But I plan on getting the series done before 21 drops, all right? For WW2K21 drops or whatever. Um, so if I get it done, I get it done. If not, I'll finish out this and I'll grab the 21 and we'll start the career, we'll start the series on that too. Anyways, look, part three is chapter one of the My Career. Like, comment, and or subscribe. Go follow the homie Phantom Aries. I'll put it in the description down below. Yes, sir. Gang, let's get this go. Let's get it popping. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, by the way. Yes, sir. Gotta say that. I've already played this before, so I know what's going on, but I will play all the cutscenes that I possibly can without being copywritten. Was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take the Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that will affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. I won't say I won't lose because I most likely am going to lose. Hold on. She wants to take this one to the floor. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Go oh, straight display of strength with the suplex. Stomping. Ouch. Spiked into the ring apron. STO. And she's back in the ring now. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. There's the escape, guys. I think that move just took a little too long to materialize. This is total chaos! 
window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. Boom. The object here is so simple that even Saxton can understand. A superstar must climb the ladder and grab the briefcase, thus winning the right to compete for a WWE Championship at the time of their choosing over the next 365 days. Prediction. She's gonna do it in her first attempt. Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Arm ball on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. She escaped before it's too late. Man, as wild. It's been a minute, so I don't necessarily remember all this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're not done. Uh, chapter one. Oh, this truly well, should is a be a full day. video. I don't think I've seen you dressed Maybe. up. Maybe. No, cussing. Oh, yeah, our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million-dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just get it out of there. No one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. That's why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. <laughs> Mm 
Bro, that was wild. Like, <laughs> she's trying to get her, trying to kill the dude if he don't get it over, man. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shake. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact, WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance-off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. The heck? That's wild. Like, why are we doing it like that now? Like, I remember that's not even how it goes in like high school, or, or at least not where I was at. It didn't work like that. You show somebody, they whole entourage beat your tail, man. Shoot, that's wild. But okay, they whole crew, like all they homies in the area, just hop up out of nowhere and just start fighting you, bro. Like.
Man, come on now. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was gonna happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real fart wad. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Uh, yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. Man. Brooklyn might have an opening here. They go. Brooklyn gets nailed with these sliding lunch tray takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect moonsault. There it goes. Exactly what happens when you make fun of Red? You pay dearly. I'm still <laughs> confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. There it goes. <laughs> Don't even know why my phone was ringing, but um, but like for real though, really in the middle of a video, my phone decides it got to ring. Like that's crazy. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in the WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. Ah! <laughs> This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you going to do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname.
that's messed up for real like damn probably some prep school or some shit you know what I'm saying like it's probably some bull like that oh well <laughs> that could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait. That's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school, and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right, though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. The hell? A... Well, look, that's chapter one, y'all. Hey, like, comment, and or subscribe to the end of the video. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Chapter two will be soon. Yes, sir. Gang, gang.